thoughts and bolts, circuits and smiles. Hi there Transformers fans, Portradork here, and I'm doing a little update. Uh, some of you, I should say a lot of you, have watched my Shapeways Thugger Twins review, which showed the unpainted uh, raw pieces that you would get from Shapewave's site to build the War for Cybertron Rumble and Frenzy figures. Well, my good friend Peter, uh, which goes by Pegas on TFW, was kind enough to paint these guys up for me since having uh, a daughter and a full-time job and a family makes it so that you uh, don't have as much time as you used to have for doing little things like painting things and little items like that. So uh, I went ahead and wanted to show these guys off since I have a new camera that can actually zoom in decently um, on small things like this. So this is a custom paint job by my friend Peter. Uh, and again, I'll link him down below, of the War for Cybertron Frenzy. And you can just see, I mean, these guys are really small, but he did like little Decepticon logos. There's a little Decepticon logo painted on his chest that's like the size of a pinhead. Um, his eyes visor is painted. He's got little gold details, little silver gold, uh, little silver details. He's, he's just painted really well. He painted the guns, and everything still transforms and works great. It's such... A beautiful little paint job that he did and I really appreciate him doing this for me and I had to show this off because I like like little tiny transformers I was a big fan of the world's smallest line and kind of the continuation some third parties have done and that stuff and I just love little guys and these guys are painted so well and they're done up so well they look great so again that was frenzy let me pop him back down over here and I'll show you rumble um, rumble came with a free little gift that Peter sent to me because he had an extra one laying around, I guess. You can see here we've got the pile drivers attached. Um, this is a separate uh, purchase you can make on the shape, same Shapeway site where you get the Thugger Twins, and these give him the game accurate uh, pile drivers. Um, I have the one set here and it's applied to uh, Rumble here. But, I mean, let me get up close and you can see the head sculpt on these guys. I mean, it's it's done really well. Like I said, you can see the visor painted, you can see the mouth details. There's these little tiny Decepticon symbols. If I can get it to focus. There's one there, one on his chest, the little purple detailing. These guys are so poseable. You can see I've got them kind of bent down right now in the, the typical pile driving pose these guys are famous for. But, I mean, just look at the detail work. You've got to have a steady hand to, to paint these guys. And... My friend definitely does. They turned out really great. I think it's a great finishing to the War for Cybertron uh, series that I have. Because Soundwave always felt a little empty without these guys. And now that I have them painted up and they actually look like they match Mr. Soundwave, it, it's wonderful. Like I said, it's great to have in my collection. If uh, you subscribe to this channel and you're a fan of the Thugger Twins and you've painted some of your own, Send me a link down below. I'd love to see uh, the interpretations that you guys did for painting yours. Um, it, these cost like roughly $15 each. You can get them on the Shapeways site. Check my other video, which I'll link below, uh, if you want to see the review uh, and the transformation of those. Um, they're great little items to pick up, really inexpensive, and they're really fun. They look great with your work for Cybertron Soundwave. So let me pop those guys down there. Oh, that's the trouble with kneeling is you uh, tend to lose your balance sometimes. <laughs> or not kneeling. That's the one thing that I've noticed with video reviews is the odds of probability of something going wrong. If it's going to go wrong, it happens during your video. But anyways, there's the three of them. Uh, the two guys are perfectly painted up, and they're sitting with Soundwave. This is how they are in my collection now, and I just wanted to do an update so you guys could see how awesome they look. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Robots for everyone.